Hey guys, it's Albert from Muffin Group. Want to unlock the full potential of WordPress? If you're ready to dive into custom post types, but don't know where to start, you are in exactly the right place. In this tutorial, I will guide you step by step through creating your own custom post types and managing them like a pro. Whether you're building a portfolio, a recipe site, or a product catalog, this is the foundation you need. So let's keep the fluff and jump straight into the good stuff. In this tutorial, I will show you three different ways to create custom post types. So no matter your skill level, there is something here for everyone. Two of the methods use popular plugins and the third involves writing custom code for those who like to get their hands dirty. Let's kick things off with probably the most popular plugin when it comes to CPTs, Advanced Custom Fields, also known as ACF. Since I'm working on a fresh WordPress installation, let's start by installing the plugin. Go to the Plugins, Add New Section, and search the repository by typing in ACF. Once you see Advanced Custom Fields, simply click Install Now and then Active. That's it. The plugin is ready to use. Now, head over to ACF post types in your dashboard menu. Before we jump into creating our first custom post type, let's take a moment to decide what it could be. Imagine I'm running a car rental business and I want to showcase the vehicles available to my clients. What kind of information should each vehicle display? Definitely things like the number of passengers, trunk size, gearbox type, fuel consumption or maybe fuel type, let's begin creating our custom post type by clicking Add Post Type. The first field is Plural Label. This is how the post type will appear in plural form. In my case, it will be Cars. The second one is Singular Label, which will be Car. The third field is the post type key. This is automatically generated based on the singular label, but you can customize it if needed. I will just leave it as is. Next, we have taxonomies. In our current example, taxonomies could represent the details we mentioned earlier. Passenger capacity, gearbox type, or fuel type. We'll create these taxonomies later. For now, ACF shows only the default ones from WordPress or your theme. Let's now toggle advanced configuration, because there is something really important I want to show you. By default, ACF works with single post views. But if you want your CPT to appear as a list or archive, for example, a full page showcasing all cars, make sure to enable the archive option under URL section. You can also set an icon for your post type. This will show up in the WordPress sidebar next to your CPT name, just like with templates, clients, or any theme specified sections like in Theme. There are many other options here, but don't worry about mastering them all right now. Over time, you will figure out which ones matter most for your projects. Since I don't need anything else at this stage, I am going to click Save Changes to create my first custom post type. My first custom post type is now created. From here, I can move on to creating taxonomies. But before we dive in, there is something important to clarify. What's the difference between taxonomies and fields? Here's the key distinction. Taxonomies are accessible via URL slacks, which means they are available via SEO-friendly URL. Think of categories and tags. You can click on them, browse related posts, and even build dynamic archives. Fields, on the other hand, are accessible via dynamic data in the single post type car and in the archive post type of cars. However, using them to filter the archive page will require modifying WP query, which can be achieved, for example, through a filter form. Still, this is not something offered by ACF out of the box, which makes using them for this purpose more complex and requires advanced knowledge or additional plugins. That said, all is not lost. I can reveal that this is something we're actively working on and it will be available very soon. So if you want users to be able to filter or browse by things like fuel type or gearbox, use taxonomies. But if it's just an additional information displayed on the post itself, like the color or horsepower, fields are your go-to. With that in mind, 
let's move forward and create our first taxonomy. Before we move on, take a look at the WordPress sidebar. You will now see our newly created post type, cars, listed there. At this point, we have the option to view all cars or add a new one. But since we haven't added any content yet, this list is obviously empty. So let's move on to taxonomies. The first taxonomy I will create is gearbox type. Let's fill out the required fields and hit save. Once saved, if you hover over the cars menu item, you will notice that our new taxonomy has been added as a submenu item. Here I will go ahead and add two types of gearboxes, automatic and manual. Now let's go back to the taxonomy section in ACF and create two more, the ones we mentioned earlier. Next up, passenger capacity. Important note here, make sure to assign this taxonomy to the correct post type, in our case, cars. If you skip this step, it won't be connected properly. Let's add another one, fuel type. Now let's jump into the fuel type taxonomy and add two values, petrol and diesel. Back to passenger capacity, let's add three options, three, four, and maybe five passengers. With our taxonomies in place, we can now create custom fields for our car's post type. To do that, go to ACF, Field Groups, and click Add Field Group. My first field will be Car Color. For that, a simple text field is enough. But as you can see, ACF offers a wide range of field types, from text and number to range sliders and even image uploads. Let's add a second field, Horsepower. And this time, I will use a number field. That's all I need for now. But of course, you can add as many fields as you need depending on your specific project. Now, scroll down to the bottom because there is one crucial setting we must not forget. To attach this field group to our car's post type, we need to set the rule. Post type is equal to cars. Once that's set, save your changes. Now that we have our CPT taxonomies and fields ready, let's add our first car. Head to cars, add a new car. As you see, the interface looks similar to adding a regular post, but it's now customized with only the options we defined via ACF. Let's name our car Mercedes. On the right, we can upload or select an image from the media library. Below that, we can choose values for each of our custom taxonomies, gearbox, fuel type, and passenger capacity. And now, at the very bottom, we have two custom fields, color and horsepower, where we can enter specific values for this car. Let's hit publish. You can repeat this exact process to add as many cars as you like. All your entries will be available under cars, all cars. And that wraps up the process of configuring a custom post type using ACF. But here is the thing. If you are wondering how to actually display these cars on the front end and manage their layout, that's what I will show you in the next video using B-Builder. You don't want to miss that because what we did here is just a half of the journey. So don't forget to click the bell icon to get reminder as soon as the video goes live. Now that we've seen how to do it with ACF, let's move on to another popular plugin, custom post type UI often referred to as CPT UI. This plugin is widely used because it focuses solely on creating custom post types and taxonomies without the extra features of ACF. If you're looking for a lightweight tool just for post types, this one might fit your needs. Let's get started. First, go to Plugins, Add Plugin, and in the search bar, type in Custom Post Type UI. The plugin we're looking for is called Custom Post Type UI by Web Dev Studios. So click Install now and then activate. After activation, you will notice a new menu item in the sidebar called CPT UI. Click on Add edit post types. Now we're going to recreate our car's post type just like before. In the post type slack, type car. That's the internal name WordPress will use. Next, enter the lab plural label cars and then the singular label car. Scroll down and you'll see a bunch of additional settings just like in ACF. You can customize things like whether the post has an archive, whether it's a publicly queryable, and what capabilities it supports. Most of the default settings are fine, but just like before, let's make sure that has archive is checked so we can display all cars on one page later. 
Once everything looks good, click Add Post Type at the bottom. And just like that, our new post type is live. You will now see cars in the WordPress menu. If you click it, it behaves just like in a native post type. You can add new cars, manage existing ones, and eventually assign taxonomies and custom fields. Speaking of taxonomies, let's create the same one we did earlier. Gearbox type, passenger capacity and fuel type. To do that, head over to CPT UI at edit taxonomies. For the first one, let's create gearbox type. Set the plural label as gearbox types, singular as gearbox type, and make sure to associate it with the car post type. Once done, hit add taxonomy. Let's repeat the process for fuel type and passenger capacity. After saving each taxonomy, you will see them appear in the admin panel under the car section just like before. Now, here's the catch. CPTUI doesn't come with a field editor, so if you want to add custom fields like horsepower or car color, you still need to install and use ACF, Metabox or another field management plugin. But the good news is CPTUI integrates seamlessly with ACF, so you can create your own post types and taxonomies using CPTUI and then use ACF to define and manage the fields just like we did earlier. So, What's the takeaway? If you need a dedicated plugin to manage post types and taxonomies without extra weight, go for CPT UI. If you also need custom fields, combine it with ACF. That wraps up our second method. Now, before we wrap up, there is one more method I want to briefly mention, and that's registering a custom post type directly with code. This approach is done manually by using the register post type function inside your child theme. But here's the thing, this method is only recommended for developers who know exactly what they are doing. If you make a mistake in the code, you can easily break your site or lose access to your content. So unless you are comfortable with PHP and WordPress internals, stick with plugins like ACF or CPT UI. That said, for those of you who want to dive deeper into the code-based method, I've included helpful links in the video description. They will take you to well-documented tutorials that walk you through everything step by step. All right, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. We've covered two powerful ways to create custom post types without touching a single line of code. Whether you choose ACF for full control or CPTY for a lightweight setup, you now have the tools to organize your content like a pro. But we're not done yet. In the next video, I will show you how to display and style the custom post types we created today directly on the front end of your website. We will cover our high pages, single layouts, and how to make your CPTs look stunning using BBuilder. So make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and check the description for resources and links. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.